Hey guys, what's up? John from FlyMyCalpha.com, and today we're going to go ahead and dive in to the basics of a TAF, Terminal Aerodrome Forecast. So just the very basics of how to read and understand these things and some of the aspects associated with them, like how often they're issued and what kind of area they're good to cover. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about TAFs. And TAFs are slightly more complicated, same basic layout, however, there's slightly more information there. So, a few other key points to know about TAFs before we get into them. They're good for a five statute mile radius around the airport. It's a terminal aerodrome forecast, just for the terminal area. If you're going more than five miles from the airport, you need to check out your FA, your area forecast. Also, TAFs are typically good for 24 or 30 hours, depending on what airport they were issued at. Most airports around the country are 24 hours. Some of the big international airports are now valid 30 hours out. So for this TAF, for the Punta Gorda Airport, KPGD, issued on the 4th at 1744 Zulu, 1344 local, it's valid from the 4th at 1800 Zulu until the 5th at 1800 Zulu, so good for 24 hours. The winds we can expect initially to be 220 degrees at 6 knots, 6 statute miles visibility with light rain. In the vicinity we expect to see some thunder showers, watch out for those. Scattered clouds 800 feet and those are cumulonimbus clouds, so be very careful there's thunderstorms on the area, CB, cumulonimbus. Broken clouds 2,500, overcast 6,000. Temporarily on the 4th from 1800 Zulu until the 4th at 2000 Zulu. The visibility will be three statute miles, rain showers, broken 800 feet. Now this temporary, that means at least half the time or so, or about less than half the time, we're going to temporarily see these conditions between those two hour time frame, about half of it will be these conditions. That's what the tempo means. Thereafter, from the 4th at 2100 Zulu time, Winds will be 240 degrees at 9 knots, plus 6 statute miles visibility. In the vicinity, there will be some rain showers. Scattered clouds at 1,000 feet, broken 2,500, overcast 6,000. From the 5th at midnight Zulu, or 8 p.m. local, we'll have wind 270 degrees at 8 knots, plus 6 statute miles visibility. Scattered clouds 2,500 feet, broken 6,000 feet. Starting at 3 a.m. Zulu or 11 p.m. local on the 5th, we'll have winds 300 at 10 knots, plus 6 statute miles visibility, scattered clouds 2,500, broken 6,000. From the 5th at 6 a.m. Zulu, 0600 hours or 2 a.m. local, we'll have wind 320 at 8 knots, plus 6 statute miles visibility, few clouds 2,500, scattered clouds 6,000 feet still. From the 5th at 1400 Zulu or 10 a.m. local, we'll have winds 340 at 12 knots, plus 6 statute miles visibility, and scattered clouds at 6,000 feet. Hey guys, thanks for watching part one. If you decide you want to learn a little bit more about meters and tasks, check out part two down below. Any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel over on the side there. Also check out our Patreon page, how we fund all our videos. Thanks so much for all your support. Thanks for watching. We hope you get to fly every day. And if you don't, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.